kids don't care if it's in a plane, a boat, or just the family clunker. Jesse, for example. When he was barely three, he and I took our old converted camper, Corvan, and went fishing. A Corvan was Corvair's minivan. But the Corvair and Corvan are extinct. But back in Scatty 8, we owned one that became our ride to Alaska's outdoors for several years. We got our Corvan cheap. The rear engine had caught fire and burned too much to repair, so the owners gave it to our family if we could fix it and make it run. We located a new engine Alaska Sales and Service was happy to part with for about their cost. We put it in the Corvan ourselves. The Corvan had been a delivery vehicle, so we built seats, beds, cooking counter, and table in the back. We put in a propane cooking range, propane heater, and propane lights. A hole was cut in the Corvan side over the table and another one in the door opposite, and we put a travel trailer type window in each hole. Our kids were small back then, and with bunk beds over the rear engine compartment, the table lowered, and one person sleeping on the cooking counter, and another on the front seat, we could sleep six or eight, depending on the ages of those with us. Jesse and I left the rest of the family engaged in other activities, and just the two of us headed for Otto Lake near Healy. Our Otto Lake experience was way before the park's highway was constructed, perhaps even conceived. Business had me engaged for a few days at Usabelli Coal Mine, and so the family decided to join me and camp along the way in our Corvan and Duplex 9x12 tent. One of Usabelli's coal truck drivers told me about Otto Lake, said it had a bunch of small grayling in it. Jesse and I decided to test it. Fish were jumping when we arrived and we quickly set up our gear. We noticed the fish were jumping, but jumping out in the lake farther than we could cast, especially Jesse. I put on hip boots, lifted Jesse to my shoulders, and started wading towards the jumping fish. The lake was shallow and we waited where we could easily cast to the fish. Even Jesse could reach them. He'd cast to the right and I to the left. More often than not, we had doubles on, mostly catch and release, not because of fishing philosophy. The grayling were just too darn small. For a four-year-old sitting on Dad's shoulders, it was fishing heaven. Finally, a few respectable enough for breakfast were kept. When my shoulders gave out, we returned to the Corvan and then to camp. Breakfast was special for Jesse as he had been the proud provider. The Corvan's gone. Jesse grew up and now takes his own children to the outdoors. I don't know how much he remembers about the Auto Lake grayling, the Corvan, or fishing from Dad's shoulders, but in my mind, I remember. It's a good memory, one that I wouldn't have had had I not taken the kid fishing. When you go outdoors, take a young person with you and teach them by your example what it means to be a sportsman. Behind the wheel or in the boat or on the road or in the lake, take the high trail and practice the Essex of fair chase. Goodbye and good luck. May God bless you in the land of the midnight sun and may your days be happy and long in Alaska's outdoors.